You have 480 fuel channels, each contains or will hold 13 fuel bundles. So you have 6,240 bundles to load into the reactor. This is all done by hand after checking each bundle for foreign material, damage, defects, and making sure the right bundle gets into the right place. When you're designing the fuel load, you don't just have to worry about the day or the week or the month when the fresh fuel is loaded. The fuel load has to be designed with the end in mind, which is the transition to an equilibrium core. When it's fresh, the fuel starts out containing only uranium, 235 as the fissile isotope. It also contains mostly uranium-238, which is a non-fissile isotope. However, when it absorbs neutrons, that uranium-238 becomes plutonium-239, which is also a fissile isotope. So as the fuel burns up, it actually increases in reactivity. Now every bundle reaches that point at a different time. As a whole, as a collective, the reactor has its own unique plutonium peak, which will occur around 39 full power days before the reactivity of the core starts to decay away as the fuel burns up. There's uh, three different types of fuel that are going to be used during the fuel load. You have depleted fuel, you have natural uranium bundles of standard length, and then you have natural uranium bundles that are slightly longer, known as long bundles. The depleted bundles are there to help shape the flux and control the power distribution in the core. The central channels will naturally produce more energy than the outer channels just because of the shape of the neutron flux in the core. So depleted bundles are placed strategically to control the power distribution in the fuel as the fuel burns up from fresh to equilibrium. There are four lengths of fuel channels in the reactor core. The outermost channels are the longest and the central channels are the shortest. The reason for this is that in a reactor environment, the pressure tube material creeps with time, so over the 30-year life of the reactor, the fuel channels actually get longer. Now, the closer the channels are to the center of the core, where the flux is the most dense, the faster they creep. Because of that, the central channels are cut shorter, and the outer channels are cut longer. Because we start out with longer channels in the outside of the core, we put long bundles in the outer channels to control the gap between the fuel string and the ends of the channels.